Hey students, how are you all? So why I am making this video because I got some uh, request in my comment section where you have suggested me and actually asked me to uh, make a video on prediction of the period, group and the block of a given element. So before starting my video, I really want to thank all of you because I, at times I get overwhelmed by the uh, love you share and uh, you love my content and you share my content. I actually get the feedback in the form of likes and comments and all these things. So I actually uh, thank you, all of you. So this is one of my favorite topic because if you ask me why, because it's really simple and really interesting. So this good video is uh, going to be fun. So see how it goes. Um, so kids, when you are traveling somewhere new, the chances are that you are going to use a map. So map come in all forms some are colorful with little pictures some have ways of showing different altitudes and some have the sole purpose of showing state or national boundaries uh, either way just like the spot on the map can tell you information about a location the position of an element on periodic table actually uh, can help you predict some of its uh, properties as well so basically, if I know the position of a certain element in periodic table, I can actually predict some of its properties, um, chemical properties and many different things like that. So before moving onwards, you have to actually remember a few things. That period of an element always corresponds to the quantum number. Here I mean the principal quantum number. Oh, you have often heard about it, that principal quantum number which stands for the, of course, uh, the shell number as well, it values maybe 1, 2, 3, 4 and up to so on and we always represent this number by the small n value. So principal quantum number will actually tell you about the period number. Block of the element would be determined by the uh, type of orbital like it may be S, it may be P, it may be D or F which will receive the last electron. If the electron is in S orbital it belongs to S block. If the last electron is, uh, is in P block it would belong to the P block, uh, P orbital then the P block and if the last electron is in D orbital the element belongs to D uh, block and if the last electron in is f subshell and then the electron is belonging to the f block so uh, block is uh, really easy just see which orbital yeah, which subshell is receiving the last electron now here comes the group number which is kind of tricky and you have to make sure that you have actually got the idea to uh, perform that Okay, let me tell you that group of any element would be determined by the number of valence electrons. Uh, maybe either in the valence shell that is n minus uh, 1 d subshell or in the valence shell. So we have to see accordingly according to s block, b block or either d block. Uh, if the element belongs to S block, then the group number will be the number of valence electrons simply. If the element belongs to P block, uh, then the group number will be determined by the number of valence electrons plus 10 by rule. And we will see uh, later on as well. And if the element belongs to D block, then the group number will be determined by the number of electrons in the n minus n n minus one subshell and the number of the electron in the valence shell. So we have to determine, we have to add up the number of electrons in D subshell and of course S subshell. So kids, you have to remember these few uh, steps or rules, whatever you can say before finding out the number, uh, the group number, the period and the block of a given element. So now we are going to practice few examples.
so okay this is uh, just an example this is not a real uh, element so see how it goes first of all in order to predict the group period or block you have to do electronic configuration you can either use a for principle or whichever the principle it's up to you up to your e so here i'm going to write down the electronic configuration for this element having the atomic number 21 so i would write like that 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 3d10 4s1 so here we have the electronic configuration so kids uh, according to n plus l uh, rule 3d would be the uh, orbital which gets the last electron so i told you that in order to predict the block number you have to see which orbital is receiving actually the last electron so in this case the last electron is in 3d orbital according to n plus l rule i hope K you are familiar with that as well so the block is d block now i have to see the period number so the period of the element is uh, found out by the number of principal quantum number of the valence shell and that is four so i can write like here that it belongs to period number four and now for the group number which is quite tricky we have to uh, add up the number of electrons in the penalty mate shell and number of electrons in the valence shell so number of electrons in penalty mate shell that is 10 and number of valence electrons in uh, in the valence electrons are s1 so i can say like that 10 plus 11 it makes 11 so now I can say that this particular element belongs to D block period number 4 and group number 11. You can actually just tally these from the periodic table as well. So next is calcium. So let's see how it goes. Okay, let me write, write the electronic configuration that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. 3p6 4s2 4 10 12 18 and 20 so we have 20 electrons that are accommodated in different subshells so per n plus l rule 4s is the last subshell which receives the last electron so i can say that this element belongs to s block so i can write s block and the period number is 4 because the highest principal quantum number is 4 as you can see here and now the group number in case of simple uh, s block elements the simply the group number is the number of valence electrons so we have two valence electrons so it means that this particular element belongs to group number two and actually we know that this is the uh, element from group number two that is known as alkaline earth metal group now we have chlorine so let's see in which group and period it belongs so i'm done with configuration that is 3b5 we have accommodated seven electrons so uh, the last electron is in p sub p orbital so i can p subshell i can say that this element belongs to p block and now the period number for period number since the highest principal quantum number is 3 so i can see the period number 3 and for a uh, group number in case of p block elements i told you that you have to add up the number of valence electrons plus 
10 by rule so here I have uh, five valence electrons 3s2 and 3p5 so I can write like that 5 plus 10 by rule basically a uh, 5 plus 2 and plus 10 so 2 2 from 3s2 and 5 from 3p5 so 5 plus 2 plus 10 it actually makes 17 so I can say that chlorine belongs to group number 17 which is actually the halogen family as well and do you know what halogens halogens are caused so because they make or they form salts take a like NaCl KCl so uh, here uh, we are talking about the group and period number so p block because uh, last electron in the p subshell third period because the highest uh, principal quantum number is three and then group number we can uh, we uh, determine from the number of valence electrons the valence electron is three and this three p5 two plus five makes actually seven and ten by rule so it makes group number 17 one last example is of vanadium so let's figure out so first of all write the electronic configuration that is 1s2 since it has atomic number 23 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 and 3d3 so first of all block since the uh, according to rules energy levels energy level rules the last electron is received by d subshell so the block would be d and period the highest uh, the quantum principal quantum number is here four so it belongs to period number four and again the group number so we have told you before that in case of d block elements you have to add electrons in the penultimate shell and the valence shell so we have penultimate shell that is three plus five it actually makes five so it belongs to group number five so kids you can actually tally these results from the periodic table as well so okay, this is how you have to actually predict the num uh, the group number, period number and the block by using these uh, guidelines. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.